Hi everyone, Kate is here and today we will go over the major updates and features of the JetFarm Builder 2.0 version. The first tiny but pretty useful thing brought to you in this update is a render in HTML option. It has been added to the settings of the hidden field with an intention to make it really secure. This option is enabled by default, which means that no changes are applied to the field settings and it can be seen and accessed from the front end via the DevTools. But when this option is disabled, the field can no longer be reached by anyone on the front end. No one can see it, read it, add it, or get it in any way possible, even using the JavaScript. So basically, it loads the value of the hidden field right at the moment of processing the request by the server, which is especially useful when working with payment gateways, such as PayPal or Stripe, for example. Another serious step forward is form record section. Finally, we have a place where all forms with detailed information entered and submitted by the customer can be stored, including the errors record when the form submission failed, for example. In order to enable this functionality, you need to add one more post-submit action to your form, which is called save form record. The action settings here are pretty basic as for now. This toggle allows you to store the IP address and other request headers such as the application, operating system and or version of the requesting user agent. So once the action is added to the form and the form is submitted on the front end, you will see the information of it appear in your dashboard in the JetFarm Builder form records page. Here you can mark it as viewed, not viewed, or delete it. Filter the info by the forms, if you have a couple of them on your site, and check out the detailed information about each request if needed. So over here, you'll find the names of the fields, the values entered by the customer, and the field types, as well as some general values with user agent info, action logs, and error logs if there were any. First thing to remember when using this option is that it will not, like under any circumstances, it will not save the text fields of the type password, which is pretty obvious. And second, in order to save the errors data, you need to have the dev mode enabled on your site. And you can do that by adding the following filter to your functions PHP file. So, as you might have guessed, JetFarm Builder plugins code has been seriously refactored, and thanks to that, another really cool feature has been added to its core – Payments Storage section. Basically, this is the place where you will find all the information on the payments processed on your site. And as of now, this feature is available only for PayPal. So, in order to make it work, you first need to have gateways enabled and PayPal Gateway API settings set up in the JetFarm Builder settings. Then, in the Form Gateway Settings tab, you need to choose PayPal Checkout and, of course, set it up according to your needs. Don't forget to enter the currency code, select the field with the total price a client needs to pay, and decide when to execute other post-submit actions before the payment is processed, unsuccessful, or failed operation. Customize the messages and update the action along with the form. Also, guys, it's worth noting that both of these features, form record storage and payment storage, are interconnected. That is why, if you want the second one to work flawlessly, save form record action has to be added to the form in the first place. So let's try to submit a form on the front end and see how it works. So give me a second to select the pickup and return dates, add additional options and hit the rent now button. Okay, so we got redirected to the PayPal. 
So let's log into the account, select the way we want to pay for the service and hit the pay now button. Good, the payment was successful, so let's check out the payments dashboard. Okay, here we see that the payment is completed and if we click on it, we'll find the payer info and shipping details as well as the payment details and related form record. By the way guys, if you click on this little button, you'll get redirected to the form record page and also you can go back to the payments by clicking on this button as well, which is pretty handy as for me. So that's pretty much it for today. Thanks a lot for watching this video, I hope it was useful and if so, don't forget to give it a like. Also, if you still have any questions left, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop them right in the comments below or contact our support team so they could assist you. Have a lovely day and take care!